and welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lick and Riff in which we're going to learn Knocking on Heaven's Door including the iconic solo by Slash from the Guns N' Roses version. So first I'm going to play with the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, note by note, riff by riff with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this, enjoy. Okay, so put on a G chord, okay? Because the intro begins with G, D, A minor, okay, and G, D, C. Now, you can play this intro in so many different ways, but before we actually get down to it, uh, let me remind you of the Black Friday offer right now on my website throughout this entire November. Okay, go to lickandref.com slash courses and get a Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Bachelor's Day offer on all my courses, okay? My entire Break Your Boundaries course program containing over 17 course modules designed to take your playing to the stratosphere. Okay? From your level, your current level, no matter where you are, um, my Break Your Boundaries program is designed to do just that. Break your boundaries and get you to unleash your creativity and your own personal voice on the guitar and actually understand this instrument instead of just memorizing stuff, memorizing diagrams and chords and scale shapes and whatnot, and actually understand the guitar and understand music and how it applies to the guitar so you can be the best guitar player that you can be. Lickandref.com slash courses, the Black Friday offer is now on, so check it out. Hey, so put on the G chord, okay? Now, you can put on a G chord in several different ways. You can just put three on the bass, okay? The G bass and play strings two, three, and four as the chord, okay? You can put three on the second string. You can put three on strings one and two, and you can just play the open second string, but with three on the first string, okay? A normal G chord, okay? So whatever you choose, you can play a block chord, you can arpeggiate. Now we have three chords, G, D, A minor, 
Okay? Now you can just play those chords. Okay, in any arpeggiating pattern, okay, freestyling your arpeggios, any way you want is fine. But you can try to make a little bit of melody out of it. Now, you have G, D, and A minor. Now, you can... Okay, you can focus on the second string. Okay, you can play three on the second string when you play G and D. And then you have one on the second string, so that creates a melody. Now, you can focus on the first string, but that's kind of the obvious choice if you go... Okay, that's beautiful, but that's kind of the obvious way because most guitar players play the high notes. I say, surprise your listener a little, okay? Surprise yourself and try to focus on a different string. Okay, so if you play G, If you play the second string, you get a different sort of melody. The same goes for the third string. Okay, so whatever string you choose to focus on becomes your melody. Now the second round is G, D, C. So it's the same way. Now the beautiful thing about C is that you can actually play C add 9. You can stay on 3 on the 2nd string and then you have this beautiful chord. So you can focus on the 2nd string okay, all the way or you can open the 2nd string when you play G. And then you have 3 with D. Okay, and then you can create a melody on C. You can play 3-1-0. Okay, and then that takes you back to the open string on G. Okay, so there are many, many options. And what I suggest is try to focus on one string and see what you get. And then go to the next string and see what you get. Go to the next string, see what you get. Okay, and then choose what you like out of all these options and play that. Um, you don't have to repeat it even. You can just play something new every time. Okay, that's the beauty of finger style. So... Okay? I played something different that I've never played before. So, um, the verse, okay, the verse um, begins with this, okay, now the note, okay, the note for the melody is B, so you could play it like this, okay, just the open second string, but that's a little bit dull, so I decided to add a little bit of a country feel to it, okay, to do this. Now, if this is a difficult position for you, okay, uh, I'll show you in a second, you can use your thumb and then it becomes a lot easier. Okay, so what's going on here is that you have G and you have the G bass going with your second finger and you have three on the second string for the harmony and the melody is two hammer on to four on the third string. So you play strings two and three together. Okay, so if this is a difficult position okay, for you, use your thumb for the G bass and then it becomes easier to do. Okay? Okay? And then you have Okay? It's 4-2-2 two, two, or Okay, you can hammer on Okay, and then play two. Okay, hammer on the four and then two two. Okay, now you play the D bass and the country double stop 
okay, remains exactly the same. So G, and then D, and then 2-0 on the third string. You can do another embellishment. You can do, okay, 2-4-2-0, hammer on, double pull off, okay? Okay, so, and then you have a hammer on to two on the third string into an A minor chord. Okay, so you can hammer on two on the D string as well. Okay, and then, okay, you play the chord. So you hammer on the two on the third string or on the third and fourth strings. And then you play the A bass, the fifth string, and you arpeggiate the chord freestyle again. So. And then you have D, uh, G and D again, exactly the same way. And then, okay, you have a C chord. Um, it's a C chord and it's just an arpeggio because everything is inside the chord. So I play strings three, five, four. Okay, so it's. Okay. That's it. That's the whole second line. And then you just repeat everything. Okay, once again. So G, D, A minor, G. For the chorus, it's basically um, the same thing as the verse. It's basically the same thing as the verse. And again, you can play with your embellishments. You can play with your hammer-ons. You can play with your pull-offs. So, okay, now the only difference, if you want to be precise, is you don't hammer on the two on the A minor. You just play two on the third string, okay, because it's um, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door, okay, um, it's not mama take this guns from me, okay, um, there's no, um, there's not a mm -hmm, okay, there at the end, it's just door, it's just one note, so, okay, so if you want to be absolutely precise, so, And you play it again. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Okay, you have two notes at the end of the second line, so the C remains the same. And then you have the solo. Hey, the solo. So, arranged into Fender style, okay, it's a G chord, okay, I play the bass and then a couple of notes or just the open third string and then, okay, it's a 2, 4, 2, 0, hammer on, double pull off on the third string, and then, okay, it's a D chord, it's a D chord and you just arpeggiate it, you play strings three, four, two, okay? You play the third string before the bass, okay? Three, four, two, okay? So you get, okay, so, and then you get, I'm uh, sorry. Okay, you can, you can um, slide it, you can pull off. So it's four, two, zero, zero on the third string into A minor, so. Okay, or, and then you have this, okay, slide to two, okay, one to two on the D string, on the fourth, and then the open third, and then you have, okay, you have a G chord with the open E string, so it's the open E string, three on the sixth, Okay, on the bass, and then three on the second string. So it's, okay, 
you can play the bass along with the E string if you want, okay? And then you have okay? one pull off to uh, zero on the second string, and then you have one and two on strings two and three with the open D string. This is D7, but you hammer on the three on the second string, turning it back into D. Okay, so it's and then you have one pull off to zero twice on the second string, and the second time you play it with the C bass, three on the fifth string. Okay, and then two on the D string. Okay, and then you have, okay, zero, one on the second string, you can hammer it on, and then one, uh, and then three on the first string. And then you have one zero on the second string back to G. Okay, so you can play the G bass or the G chord with the open second string. Then you have zero three seven on the first string, so you can slide, and then you have this D five chord. It's five three two, and the open D string. Okay, and then slide to seven twice. Okay, from five. And then you have A minor seven, which is three, five, five on the first, second, and third strings, three, five, five with the open fifth string, okay? And then you have, okay? It's G with three, one, zero, one, zero on the second string. And then you have D, exact same melody. Okay, and then you have the C chord head. Three and two on strings five and four. And then you have, okay, it's two zero two zero on the D string, you can pull it off. Okay, and then three two three two on the A string, you can pull them off. G, okay, three on the bass. And the open third string, which is G, it's an octave. And then, okay, you can go back to the uh, chorus or the verse, um, or just play the chords again as an outro, just like the intro. So download the tab for free. All the tabs on Lick and Riff are for free, okay? It's on the website. The link is below in the description, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go check out my Break Your Boundaries Black Friday offer, lakenref.com slash courses, and I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Have fun, and thank you for watching.